uh, recording here. All right. Um, this is week number nine. Um, this one, this one is um, not too bad. This week is not too bad. I think a lot of you will do a, a, a good job this week. Next week, whoo, look out for next week. Um, next week, it gets a little bit tougher. We're going to use the rules that we learned this week for next week. Okay. So this week, we're just learning some rules. And then next week, we're going to put them in to play when we start solving logarithmic and exponential functions. Um, I know we did a little bit of that before spring break, but we did the easy ones. Uh, next week, we have the hard ones. Um, it's going to be a little bit, a little bit more intense, but we're going to use a lot of the stuff that we learned this week, next week. Okay. Um, last week, we solved logarithmic equations that look like this. And what we, what we talked about last, or I shouldn't say last week, last week we were off. But what we talked about um, was that if you had a log on one side and a log on the other side, we could just cross them off. And then we could just cross the logs off. So that would just leave us with 5x equals 2x plus 9. And then we would subtract 2x from both sides. And we'd end up with 3x equals 9, x equals 3. That's what we did before spring break. And we also did exponents that had the same base. Yes, they have to have the same basis. But what happens if they, like for example, this problem here, you can't do that. And why can't you do that? Because this two right here, it messes the whole problem up. You cannot just cross off. If there's something other than a log on both sides, you can't just cross them off. You can't, you can't just go, oh, I'm going to cross that log off. I'm going to cross this log off. I'm going to end up with x plus 4 is equal to 2 minus x. That does not work. That does not work. So, ah, somebody's watched the, we're going to, um, so what we have to do, and this is what we're going to have to do next week, is we're going to have to combine logs. Okay, so for example, I could add, a log base four to both sides. Now, you're not gonna get anything like this this week. So just play along with me. So I'm just gonna add a log base four of X to both sides so that, so on the left-hand side, I'd end up with a log base four of X plus six plus the log base four of X is equal to two, okay? Now, this is what we're gonna do this week. This week, we're gonna combine logarithms. What do I mean by combining logarithms? It means that we're going to rewrite them as one log. So what I can do here in this problem, and I'll take this, I'll take this a few more steps and show you what we're going to be doing next week. So this is, this is very similar to what we're going to be doing next week, but this is a step that we're going to use this week. We're going to combine logs. If you have more than one log on one side of the equal sign, you can combine them. If there's a plus sign in between, you can write it as a single logarithm and just multiply. So this would be log base four of X plus six times whatever's over here. And that's X is equal to two. So now I have it written as a single logarithm. Why is that nice? Because we can rewrite this um, well, I could, I'm not going to go that far into solving the problem, but what we're going to do next week is we're going to rewrite this as an exponent. How do we remember? Um, I think maybe two weeks ago, we, we rewrote logarithms as exponents. So this would be four to the second power is equal to X, X plus six. 4 to the second power is 16 is equal to x, x plus 6, and then we'd solve it. But this is, all of this stuff is next week, okay? All the solving is next week. This is the only thing this week that you're going to be asked to do. You're going to be asked to rewrite logs as a single logarithm. Next week, as I said, it, we're taking it to the next step next week solving logarithmic equations. But this week, we're going to just combine logs. That's what it's called. It's called combining logarithms. We're going to rewrite them as a single log. Okay, so here are the properties of logarithms. If you have 
two logs with a plus sign in between, and they have the same base, and they have a plus sign in between, then all you do is you rewrite it as a single logarithm and multiply these two things together. Log A of U times V. If it's a minus sign in between, guess what? We rewrite it as a single log, but it's gonna be this over this, U divided by V. And if there's an exponent, we can bring that exponent out front. And we talked about that last week. You are 100% correct, Samantha. If the bases are not the same, you cannot do this. Now, logger, natural logs are exactly, the rules don't change if it's a natural log. Natural log and logs are exactly the same thing. What is a natural log? A natural log really is log base E. That's, that's all it is. Anytime I see natural log, I just write down log base E. That's all it is. That is what a natural log is. So if you ever see natural log, it has the exact same rules as logarithms. Why? Because a natural log is a logarithm. It just has a specific base. It has base E. That's all it is. So if you see natural log, you can write it as log base E. If you see log base E, you could say, oh, that's just natural log. Okay, and it's better to have natural log because your calculators have a natural log button on them. Okay. No, Joseph, we will we do not deal with problems that don't have common bases. Okay, that takes it to another level. That takes it to like a pre-calc calculus kind of level. So all of the bases have to be the same. If they're not the same, we will not be able to solve that problem. Okay. But as I said, this week, the only thing you have to worry about is combining them, okay? Just combining, just rewriting. So, for example, this problem right here, log base 6 of 4 plus log base 6 of 9, how can you rewrite that as a single logarithm? Because that's what I'm asking you to do tonight. Just rewrite it as a single logarithm. So that would be um, log base 6 of 4 times 9. I'm going to ask you to go a little bit lower, Samantha. I'm going to, yes, exactly. I'm, I want you to take it all the way down to the log base six of 36. That's what I'm looking for right there. Now, is that wrong to write log base six of four times nine? No, that is what it equals. It's just, this is a little bit more simplified. Okay. So I, I'd like you to multiply those out if you can. Okay. I don't feel like doing math. <laughs> you mean multiplying? Yeah. All right. Well, that's a, oh, I was going to say that's a nice blank screen, but I guess there is something there. All right. So here's a multiple choice question. I think this is on our practice this week. I'm not 100% sure. How would you rewrite this? Simplify down. Okay. And you could just give me the letter. You can go A, B, C, or D. You don't have to type in the whole thing. Log base six of X minus three times X. Now, you don't, you won't see that answer up there. Um, because they, they took it a little bit farther. They multiply that X times X minus three to get the, um, so in this problem, I have a plus sign. So plus sign tells me that I have to multiply. I'm going to combine them. I'm going to rewrite. And you know, what's funny. I, I always see this. I'll ask students to rewrite it as a single log and they'll have two logs in their answer. And it's like, how can you have, that's not a single log. You know, when you have two logs in your answer, you're not rewriting it as a single log. A single log means you only have one log in your answer. That's why it means to rewrite, okay? So log base six is a plus sign, so I multiply. So I just go x minus three times x. Well, I don't see that answer up here, so I'm gonna multiply it through. So log base six of x squared minus three x. Boom, letter A, done, that's it. We're combining logs or we're rewriting it as logs. What is the Holt key code? I don't have a clue what that means, Audrey. I'm not sure I... What about the textbook? There is, there is no... This year, this year there isn't... You don't need... Um, what do I want to say? You don't need a username and password this, this week, this year. For the practice? You, the practices aren't in the in the textbook, right? Hmm. 
the formatives aren't. Right, the formatives are, uh, if you go to your lessons and you go all the way down, that's where the practices are. No, 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 no. I don't even, I don't even think if you, I don't think that, uh, okay. I, I thought that this year that there wasn't any username or password. If you just had the link in the textbook thing, it should open the textbook. I don't, I, I think they changed that. Last year you had to have a username and password, but this year, uh, -uh I don't think so. But you don't even need your textbook ever in this class. It did make you log in? Hmm, interesting. Okay. All right. Then I was I was not told the right information. I never go into my textbook. <laughs> don't like I don't like our textbook. Oh, I don't want to do this slide. This slide was kind of crazy. Okay. So this problem right here. Uh oh. This one. Now, this one we have to use, um, this one we have to use the rule that says, see this number right here? This one is, this number right here is gonna cause a lot of pain for some kids. You can't have a number in front of the log in order to condense it, okay? So what are we gonna do with it? Well, remember last week, we learned that we can put it out here as an exponent. So I'm gonna rewrite this problem as the log base eight of 3x minus 1 minus the log base 8 of x to the fifth power. Okay, so if you ever have a number in front of that um, log, you got to make it, you got to put it as an exponent, okay? That is where most kids really mess up this week. So now it's a minus sign. So now it's like, oh, okay, if it's a minus sign, I'm going to rewrite it as a single log. So this is going to be 3x minus 1 divided by x to the fifth. I am done. Okay, so be really careful there um, when you do something like that. How come? What is the difference between? Oh, I, I see. Letter C is five x. Okay, <laughs> it's not x to the fifth. I'm like, boy, that looks exactly the same, but it's not. And remember, the minus sign means that we divide. Okay, so there's only there's really only a couple things that will really mess you up this week, and then the number out in front of the log, make sure you put it as an exponent, and then that minus sign, yeah, just means you divide instead of add. Okay, so this problem I'm going to let you guys work out and see what you guys get for an answer, okay? And then I'm going to take attendance real quick. Oh, there's 30 kids here today. Woo woo! That is awesome. You guys are amazing. I just want to make sure I get the attendance taken. And uh, so let me see here, algebra two, oops. I thought it was gonna be a sparsely participated this week because of um, that we had spring break. I thought nobody would show up. It's like, oh, guys okay, showed up. Uh, I will tell you next week will be a much more important though because next week it's a little bit tougher. All right, so let's see here. Attendance taken, yay. Okay, so let's see what you guys came up with for an answer there. Okay, so um, letter D, okay, did that wrong. All right, so I'm looking at this problem and I, I see a plus sign, so that means I'm gonna multiply. However, I see numbers in front that really makes it so I have to move them. So I'm gonna rewrite this as log What's the base? Can somebody tell me what the base is? I can't see it. Yes. If you can't see it, it's 10. I don't have to write it in there, but this is going to be 4 squared plus log base 10 of 2 to the third. So now I'm just going to rewrite this as log 16 plus log 8. I just, I just did the exponent here. I did the exponent here. And then since it's a plus sign, I'm just going to rewrite this as log 16 times 8. And what is that? 128? So this is going to be log 128. That's it. Step by step process. Just got to make sure. You got to just have to make sure that you rewrite it as a single logarithm in simplified form. 
All right. Any questions on that one? Does anybody not understand how we came up with those answers? Or that answer? Uh, why did you put a plus or minus sign? Uh, oh, I did not. That That is not supposed to be there. Um, I, I just underlined it because I, I was saying that this is a plus sign that we have to multiply. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. That is not supposed to be plus or minus. <laughs> Sorry. I just underlined it just to make sure that we knew it was plus sign. All right. So in this problem, uh, this is a minus sign. I won't, I won't, I'll just put an arrow there. Minus sign. So that means I'm going to divide. So this is going to be log base four of 27. Uh oh. I didn't see that too. I better put that up here. So that becomes nine here, right? Three squared is nine. So this is going to be log base four of 27 divided by nine or log base four of three. Boom. Simplify. And if you could do that, if you can do that, next week's assignment is going to be so much easier. If you can't do this, if you can't condense logs, next week is going to be way harder. Okay. That's why I, I, that's why I said this week should be fairly easy. Next week, we're going to use this to solve logarithmic equations. And that's where it gets a little bit tougher. But this, this is trying to get you, this is trying to get you back from spring break and not because last year, I think I did the, this and solving all in one and didn't go well. So we'll try, we'll try it a little bit slower this week, this year. Okay. Simplify. Now, this isn't even condensing. So this is, what should this can simplify down to? Letter C, log of 81. Correct. Log base 10 of 81. Correct. Absolutely. All right. Go to it. And then I think I have a couple problems from the from the test this week. See what you get for this one. But Mr. Shanklin, how am I supposed to do a fractional exponent? Ah. So if I rewrote this problem, I'm gonna go log 16 of one half. Oh boy, oh, what is that? And then log one of to the third power. What is 16 to the one half power? 16 to the one half power is four, right? It really means 16 to the one half power really means the square root of 16, doesn't it? So that's just log four plus, what is one to the third power? Is that three? It's one, that's right. One to the third power is one. So this is just gonna end up being log four times one, which is just four, letter B. Awesome problem. Love these. I, I really enjoy these. Okay. Problem number one on your assessment tonight. It says, show your work for credit, write as a single logarithm. Okay. So this is a problem off your assignment tonight. It's not a lot of work to show, but there's a little bit in this. So what's my answer? 25? No, that is not my answer. Log base three of 25. <laughs> that's a little bit better. Yes, we are condensing logs. There better be a log in your answer, right? If you just say 25, I mean, I, I get where you were going with that, but if I'm gonna condense this, first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the two up here. So this is gonna be log base three of 100 minus log base three of four. Well, there's a minus sign there, so I'm gonna write it as a single log. So this would be log base three of 100 over four, which is log base three of 25. I cannot lose that log. <laughs> that That's this, this right here is exactly the same thing as this right here, okay? So that that is my answer, boom, done. Pretty easy, right? It's not a, that wasn't a very difficult problem. How about problem number two? Uh-oh, now I have to start remembering things about exponents and everything. So in this problem, what I did is I looked at this and I said, okay, this is probably going to mess some kids up. So I'm going to rewrite this as the log base 3 of 9x to the 4th minus the log base 3 of, what is it? What is 
x squared equal to. What is that equal to? 9x squared. And if you knew that, this is not a bad problem. It's 9x squared. That second power goes to the 3 in the x. This is 9x squared. So now I've got a minus sign. I'm going to divide. So this would be log base 3 of 9x to the fourth over 9x squared. This becomes log base 3 of x squared. Done. That's my answer. Now, Samantha, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's going to be log base 3 of x squared. Okay? Because I've got an x to the second over an x to the fourth. A little bit tougher, right? I, I had to know a little bit about some rules. Okay? But seriously, this is the type of problem you're going to see tonight on the assessment. That's it. How about number three? Oh, no. It says, find x if 2 log base b of 4 plus log base b of 5 minus log base b of 10 is equal to log base b of x. Oof. Yeah, it is a lot of things to look at. So let's do it step by step. I'm going to take this 2. I'm going to put it on here. Okay? And then I'm going to rewrite this as a log base b of 16 plus the log base b of 5 minus the log base b of 10 is equal to log base b of x. Okay, so that's all I did. I'm going to condense these. Okay, I'm going to condense this and make this the log base b of, what is that, 90? Minus log base b of 10 is equal to log base b of x. Okay, so is that okay? Oh, who said log base B of 80? No, you're going to make me cry now. Come on, man. No. When we condense logarithms, if this is a minus sign, we divide. We would rewrite this as a log base B of 90 over 10 is equal to log base B of X. So now 16 times 5 is 80, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know how to multiply. It's 80. I'm sorry. I'm, oh, that's why you guys were saying 80 instead of, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you guys were doing it wrong. I did it wrong. All right. So then it would be 80 divided by 10. So this would be log base B of 8 is equal to log base B of X. And remember last week, we said if we had the log on the same side, boom, they cross off. So I get x equals 8. So it wasn't being able to solve uh, a logarithmic equation here, right? It was just basically combining logs, right? So uh, I don't, you know, number three, they look hard. They do, but they're really not. I mean, when you get to, if you just, unless you don't know how to multiply. If, if you multiply 16 times 5 and get 90, you're probably going to have some problems with that one. But <laughs> other than that, it should be okay. Okay? Yeah, it, it's not a bad problem. It's just stretched out. You just got to condense everything. All right. Phew. And now to our practice. Let me see if I still have the right uh, practice in here. Oh, I don't. Sorry about that. Let me, um, I'll be right back. Okay, so here is this week's um, Desmos presentation. I will share it with you guys up on my screen here. I think you guys won't have too many problems with this week's um, uh, practice now that we've done all this. The first problem is a little weird, okay? So problem number one. Oops, what am I looking at? Okay, so problem number one. Uh, why is it called practice number nine one? I don't know. Um, I think I probably made a, a um, copy of it. And usually when you make a copy, it just puts a one behind it or a two or a three or something like that. It's just practice nine. That one shouldn't be there. 
no, there's not a practice number two. No, it's just they, that one. Don't look at that one. It's just it's just practice nine. Okay, it's this week's practice. Okay, it says log. Uh, I can't read it. I gotta go. I gotta go to my next page here. Okay, so it says log base b of a is equal to c. Which statement is true? So basically, it's asking you, can you rewrite a logarithm as an exponent? Right. That's that's all it is. So b to, b to the c is equal to a. That that goes back to last week being able to write a logarithm as an exponent. Okay. So we need to know how to do that. That's still a skill that we need. All right. Problem number two. It says simplify log base two plus log base three. Uh, letter D, log. I, I, I guess it, I should say log base two, log base three. It really is log base 10 of two plus log base 10 of three. I just don't put that 10 in there. So the answer is letter D. Okay. All right. And as I said, there's not a lot. When you look at the practice problems this week, there's not a lot to do. Number um, three, simplify. I think we did this one already, right? You just bring the two up. So that's log of 81. Done. That's it. So a lot of these practice problems should be able to do in your head. Which of these expressions is not equal to 4,000 or log 4,096, okay? So which one of them does not equal that? 12 times 12, and I and don't don't get me going on this problem because my you, you know my multiplication isn't that good, right? Um, so right away, letter B would be 1,024 to the fourth power, so that <laughs> is not even close um, to correct. So letter B, is not um, equal, okay? All of the rest of them, because this would be log base, this would be log base 10 of four to the sixth, four to the sixth is 4,096. 16 to the third is 4,096. 64 to the second is 4,096. So they all work out except letter B. B is not correct. All right, uh, number five. It says, write as a single logarithm. Okay, I, I, again, I think we did this problem in class just before. Yeah, exactly. We did this one. So I'll rework it out. Um, we, what I would do is I would rewrite this as the log of 16 to the 1 half plus the log of 1 to the third. 16 to the 1 half is 4 because it really is the square root of that. So that would be log of 4 plus log of 1. Since it's a plus sign, I multiply, so that would give me log of four. So that would be letter B. <laughs> Third time you've done it today. Did you get the same answer all three times? That's the question, Allison. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny um, when you put problems that are the same and kids get different answers for them. It's like, huh, that's an interesting conundrum. All right, uh, number six, we have evaluate. Oh, so now we're using the rule backwards, okay? So what do I mean we're using the rule backwards? Well, can I rewrite this log base M of M to the two N? Can I bring that to the front? You absolutely can. So I'm gonna rewrite this as two N log base M of M. What is log base m of m? What is that? That is equal to one, doesn't it? Log base m of m is one. So really, all I have in this problem is 2n times one, which is 2n. Pretty awesome. I love these rules. I mean, it's, it's rules that you need to know for logarithms. No question about it. But once you know them, you can just start moving things around. All right. Oh, yeah. Wow. We're really cruising here. <laughs> I, <laughs> I do talk fast. I, I will say that. I am 
I am known to talk fast. <laughs> All right. Number seven. All right. I'm going to let you guys work on this one. I don't think we did this one yet. Ooh, I like that. Okay. So you guys work on this. See what you get for an answer. Okay. It's a little, I mean, it's not difficult, difficult, but you do, there's a couple things you have to do in this problem to make sure you get it right. Yeah, you're going to go from left to right. Correct. Yes. Good question. Well, I got to get my calculator out for this one. There's some big numbers in here. <laughs> Yikes. All right. Anybody get an answer yet? Yeah, I, as I said, there's some big numbers in there. <laughs> I have a feeling it is. Oh, 30 to the fourth power. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That is. Whew. All right. Yeah, I'm I'm looking at that too. So, let's let's work it out. Cuz I'm not going to divide it out. I'll tell you the truth. I'm I'm looking at this and I'm I'm looking at that and it's like log base 6 of 25 minus and then I'm going to put the 6 up there. So I've got log base 6 of 5 to the 6th plus uh log base uh, and I'm going to change this right away. I'm going to go 30 to the fourth power, okay? I'm going to do this first, but I need to know what 5 to the sixth power is. Um, 5 raised to the sixth power is, whew, so I've got log 25 minus log of 1, 15,625 plus the log, and then what does that turn out to be? 80, 808 and then three zeros. Phew. Okay, so now I'm gonna subtraction means I divide. So this is gonna be log base 25 over 15625 plus log, yep, that's a plus, plus log, um, and then that's 81000. It's a plus sign, so I multiply, so this is going to end up being log, and I'm not dividing this out. You'll see why. I don't know if it'll work out. And then this is going to be times over. Okay, so that's what I come up with. Um, can I simplify down? Yeah, because I'm, I'm looking at my answers here. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, because six to the fourth power. Where do we get six to the fourth power in this problem? Did I mess something up? Oh, so, okay, so if I just multiply this all out, I get, okay, so I'm just going to multiply 25 times 810000 divided by 15625, 625, and I come up with 1296. Okay, so this is 1296. So this becomes log 1296. Oh, but it said to evaluate. All right, so we're not done, are we? Because this simplifies down to the log base six of one, two, nine, six. So that means I, because I'm wondering where their logs are and it's like, oh, okay, it says evaluate. So I'm not done yet. So six to what power? Six raised to the fifth power? Nope, that's not right. 
6 raised to the 4th power. Ah, 6 raised to the 4th power is 1296. So this is equal to 4. So my answer is 4, right? Because we simplified. When we simplified, we ended up with the log base 6 of 1,296. But it said to evaluate. Yeah, I, 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 never, I don't do my practice problems. <laughs> I mean, this one, I, I thought all we had to do is just rewrite it as a single log. Uh, but yeah, that one, whew, there, there was a little bit of work in that one. Definitely needed a calculator, that's for sure. I wouldn't have been able to do this problem without a calculator because there is no way I've been able to, to work it out. And that's why you guys come to these um, sessions, right? So you don't have to work out the practice problems. They're all done for you. All right, this one, problem number eight. This one should be a whole lot easier, right? It just says, which logarithm is equal to this? Since there's a plus sign in there, letter A. And I think we did this one in class today, didn't we? Yep, we did this one already. Now, for those students that forgot, um, I've got log base six of X minus three plus log base six of X, it's a plus sign. So I'm gonna rewrite it as a single log, log base six of X minus three times X. Since that answer is not up there, I've got the log, I'm gonna multiply it through X squared minus three X. And that is letter A. All right. Number nine. Did this one also, didn't we? Now this one, since we had to put the five up to the top, Okay, because remember, you cannot leave a number there. So we just rewrite it up here. So now it's a minus sign. So I just rewrite it as a single log. So this would be log base eight of three X minus one over X to the fifth. And we said that an answer was letter A. And then the last problem for this week, it says solve log base 30 minus log base five is equal to log x. What does x equal? And I think we did we did that one also. Um, it is equal to d, um, since I would rewrite this one as the log of 30 divided by five is equal to the log of x. So this becomes log six equals log x. Last week we learned if there was only one log on both sides, and nothing else, we can just cross it off. So X equals six. Again, I don't think you'll have a difficult time this week. Next week, we're gonna use this to solve logarithmic equations. It's a little bit tougher. All right, you guys have a great week. Remember, we do have a help session on Wednesdays. Can you explain number four one more time? Absolutely. Number four, let's go back to number four. Don't remember what number four is. Okay, um, which of the expressions is not equal? So you would just have to rewrite them all out. So like A would be log 64 to the second power, right? You would just bring that two up here. Well, 64 to the second power, if I put that in my calculator, 64 raised to the second power is 4,096. So this, so this becomes um, log of 4096 okay so that's a so a is exactly the same so it says which one is not so i go to b so i would rewrite this as a log of 1024 to the fourth power well what is 1024 to the fourth power 1024 raised to the fourth power is oh <laughs> it's it's a scientific it's big it's like log of one one zero nine 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 five one six two nine. So this is definitely not the same thing as this. And if you you know sixteen to the third power is four thousand ninety six. Four to the sixth power is four thousand ninety six. So all we had to do is just plug them all back in, and you you'd see that B is the one that is not equal to that. Okay. All right. You guys have a great week. Remember, 
um, one o'clock to two o'clock on Wednesday. If you have any questions about anything in this class, please make sure you come by and we'll go through it. Have a great week, guys. Bye.